All right, Julie Garden and Evelyn, our mom. She always tries to lowball me and Richie. She thinks that um, we are sellers on e and Craigslist or eBay. She always tries to, she's a crazy, crazy crackhead. She's trying to give us crackhead prices. She's trying to always lowball us. We asked her for $100, she gives us 20. We asked her for 250, she gives us 90. We asked her for, well, I reply, we asked her for, for Hugo Boss and she buys us Old Navy. You know, that's not how you work in family. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to come to an issue here. Parents need to stop reprimanding, yelling, faulting, blaming their children. It's hurting them in the workforce and in, in, the, in, the, in, in social life and everything. Those kids come from the hood and you guys scream at them for every little thing. You accuse them of every little thing. You, they, they, you, you give them complex and trust issues and they, and they put those conflict and trust issues upon us in the city and, 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 the, and the places, the establishments and businesses that we enter. And it's your guys' fault. These kids are crazy. These kids don't respect anybody because you don't respect your own children. You can't always do that to your kids. You have to be more serene during um, parenting your children. It's a um, um, the upbringing of children is a very is a very crucial part of their life. And the way that you treated them is the way they're gonna act when they're older. And they're gonna yeah, have, good afternoon. They're gonna have um, a lot of problems. Uh, when they're, I'd like to when speak with older. Dr. Alana Pister, please. They're gonna have a lot of issues. Um, this is regarding my son, Elijah Spivak. Get into the workforce and everything. Trust me, it happens everywhere. They, they don't think you're gonna steal. They have trust issues. They have a lot uh, of I issues. I just need to ask, ask you a few questions. And you guys about, hit them. You guys, uh, no there's a lot of things for them. All right, so I'm gonna talk about just John Marks from from Strasburg Park. He thinks he's a trooper. He said he's not going nowhere, right? That's what he said he's a shit. Third degree. He said he he's not going to leave. What is this regard? He 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 got his depend. Trust me, he got his depend depend diapers on the stand. He's wearing a dope diapers, you know. <laughs> he's very strong. He said he don't give a fuck that, that he's here for the long run. I, I, I was gonna buy the, the uh, beautiful lake home I was looking to purchase on Pocahontas Lane, right next to the right to the left to him, the house in the, in the left to him, and Pocahontas Lane, the most beautiful lake house in, in the Monroe County, Eastern Allentown area, the um, eastern part of Pennsylvania. He has a, I have the, he has a little shack there. I was gonna buy, the, I was gonna be his neighbor, John Marks there. He's a very, 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 very stubborn man. So I was gonna be his neighbor. I don't know, if, I think that he don't want to be my neighbor. Thinking about offering them, they, does, they took it off the market though, original on the server here. Thinking about offering them a good price, so I could be his neighbor again, so we could. I can invite him over for some beer, a beer keg I'd buy or something, a, a wine box, you know, because he's into those things. Um, there's a box of wine, a box of wine box. Just anyone was so excited for those wine boxes? It's called a box of wine, wine box, not a box of wine, box of wine. She said, oh my god, these box wines. She used to want to invite her friends from New York to buy wines, and they know it's white trash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to talk about one topic. It's going to take two minutes. And I want to talk about this world and what this world has come up <coughs> I'm talking about the parenting. Um, this world is full of, uh, I call it the world of excuses. 99%, 98 to 99% of the world has to give an excuse to everybody. They give an excuse to the mailman, to the milkman, to your, your son, to your mother, to your aunt, to your cousin, to your friends, to your teacher, to your students, um, to your kids, your babies, to the babysitters, to the tax guy, to the utility people, to you, um, to the waterman, to the guy that delivers your packages, to, um, to your, to your um, work, um, work mates, to your, to your bosses, superiors, to your... Any, and to people that you have to bring a video late to Blockbuster. I, I pause. It didn't everybody, this world is full of everybody's giving excuses. And it shouldn't be like that. It's okay. like we feel like we're going to get in Someone trouble. Money. Excuses means that we're going to get in trouble. Excuses are not a good thing. 99% of the... 90, uh, um, I apologize. We Let's give excuses give in Nepal, in uh, Nepal Bangladesh, Moscow, Beijing, Egypt, Brazil. Mexico, Montreal, Republic of Congo, everybody in the world gives an excuse I'm sorry, to everybody. It shouldn't be like that. It should be straight up or, 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 or just move along with life. Not, not everybody should be trying. And then if we get an excuse, excuse is the definition yep, of getting it. in trouble. Or uh, the definition of being Thank scared you. or paranoid. We need to stop the excuse, the world of excuses, you know. You guys can keep on that, the rabbis and the priests and the Pope, you know. All right. So my mom wanted to prove to the Republicans and to her family that she was going to bring her family, her two children, her adopted child, her biological to the South Bronx and show them that Demo uh, uh, Demo embracing them as poor Democrats in the Bronx was going to, and, and the how, how good of a parenting job she was going to do, do as a maternal um, figure in our life as a mother. Um, 
she, she shows great. She she wants to control us, micromanage our lives. She wants to be a private detective and tell her us. She wants to reprimand us. She wants us to make us feel like shit. That's the way to be a Democrat in the Bronx and very successful kid. My my, my brother's 360 pounds right now in Pennsylvania, in an apartment or in Pennsylvania, eating with a eat bad eating habit. And with a, a job that's not going to get no, his fingers are corroded. He can can be able to corroded from dealing with wires and installing remote starts, and she won't even open up his own shop, you know. But or help him. She's sending to Bronx Community College. That's what all Democrats do, community college. And then me, she she wanted to send me up for failure. Whenever I asked for something, but I ended up in Harvard because I ran away, you know, to Jersey. Um. And then she wants us to, to see how successful we're gonna grow out of getting food stamps. She sends him to he gets food stamps, I get food stamps. He gets unemployment, I get unemployment. She wants us to to ask for apartments from the federal, from from the government and get section eight or housing or get into psych wars and say that we need immediate housing. You know, um, she's a very very crazy Democrat. Okay, I want to say there's 98 security guard companies in New York. Um, Tony has contacted 38 of them so far. He has a 30-year-old from Woodbridge, from Wood, living in Woodbridge and Sea Warren. Um, oh, they live in Port Red. Um, this one is by that, the, the, the by Andrea, Sea Warren Board of Andrea, not Dorsey, the Board of Andrea, and, and that uh, Indian, the, the Hindu, the Hindu place. You know, they have the Hindu place where they worship at uh, the, the temple. Okay. The kid is originally from Cranford. Now he's making Tony phone calls to the security company. His date of birth is January 6, 1990. The one they can't find. He's staying in Port Reading, and he lives off No No Mohegan Avenue in Cranford. Um, let me find his street. Hold on. Thirty. No Mohegan. No Mohegan. No Mohegan. No Mohegan. No Mohegan. Park. Cranford, New Jersey. All right. So we need a map here. So I can find his exact address so we can tell his parents that he needs to stop talking to these people because he's, he's, he's doing research. He's, he has my friend hostage. The, my mom's administrator from Mount Sinai. I'm hostage in the library and because he, he could, I need to talk to him and he could help me. Hostage in the library every day because he's doing some research and then he, the white boy saying that he's interested. He's doing research on the Rodney King riots. And, and, this is Tony's idea. This is a very racist thing. So it's this, oh, this one, this one. He lives on this one. No, this one, this one. On Brookdale Avenue, he's at. This, this around here, the more here. This one, this is the 11 Brookdale House. 11 Brookdale Road is the house that that kid lives in, in No Mohegan Avenue. In Carteret. So we need to find this boy and return him back to New Jersey. He's not allowed in New York City any of these kids no more. Then Port Reading, you know. So we gotta go towards so Port Reading. Right here, this one, no, this, this one, no, no. Right here, no, no. This, 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 this one, Wesley Place. This one is on Wesley. He's staying in Wesley. This one, 22 Wesley Place in Port Reading. All right. So there we go with that kid. So next we have here. He has him in a library all fucking day researching and he's a controlling little cunt that kid. And then he has a 38 year old doing calls from his Carteret's men's meeting, anonymous alcohol anonymous men's meeting, doing full calls to security. He's straight. He's a 30 they go this is a Thursday men's meeting. And that's about it. I'm done. I'm gonna take a break to the end of the day.